Okay, guys, so welcome back. Um, you remember a couple of weeks ago I did a video on the Hero 8 GoPro and being able to use it as a webcam and the things you needed to make it a webcam was ridiculous. The micro HDMI cable to HDMI cable, um, the Elgato cam link, all of the things that you needed, the media mod, all that stuff. So today GoPro released their uh, beta software to make your GoPro Hero 8 as a webcam work on Windows 10. They originally did it just for Mac. Well, now you can do it for Windows. And we're gonna go through that process. We're gonna use the same GoPro Hero 8 that I used last time, right here. And we're gonna take some stuff out of it and we're gonna go through that. So stick around and we'll get right into that. Okay, so we're back. As you can see on the screen, um, up there, right there on the screen. You can now use uh, the GoPro Hero 8 as a webcam on Windows 2. So previously it only worked uh, as a webcam on Mac OS. Uh, yeah, and that, they've been, that's been like that since July. So for the cam link that we've got right here, let me go ahead and uh, post this up. Okay, so as you can see, they go over all of this stuff and you have your cam link and your HDMI cable and your converters and everything like that we're gonna to toss that to the side we're not gonna need that anymore so you can go to their website and you can get this to work so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get this hooked up and we're gonna see if this works so we're going to this guide right here the one from GoPro itself so let's go through, let's go through these steps real quick. All right, so update your, update your Hero 8 Black to 2.0. Update the, your Hero 8 Black via the GoPro app or by manual update. Okay, so go, download the GoPro webcam desktop utility. We're gonna do that really quick and install it on the computer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, camera out real quick while we go through this. Oh, that's a package. Well, let me go down and get to the Windows part of it right here. Okay. Ah, there it is. Really? You need you need the Facebook account required for this? Are you kidding me? What kind of crap is that? Okay, so apparently you need a Facebook account to download the beta software for Windows, which doesn't make any sense why you would need that, but whatever. Most go in there, make a Facebook account, close it out, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna get this. Click next, accept the license agreement, next, install, wait for this to install, might see this, it's just GoPro stuff, I'm just going to hit install, let it finish installing, and then you'll see this, please attach your device to this computer anytime after the installation is finished, okay, all right, well we're going to finish this. So I'm assuming Oh my goodness. And this will pop up again cuz you know UAC in Windows 10 is crazy. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and install this or get this all ready so we can hook it up to the computer. All right, I'm gonna take this out of here. This will be a little bit easier, hopefully, than what it was um, that original video I made. Uh, that will be up in the uh, the corner also. 
in case you want to see that one on how to do it without using this media mod, just in case you don't want to, don't have a Facebook account, don't want to create one. We're taking it out of the media mod here. So it's just this, just the, just the, uh, the GoPro. No media mod, taking the media mod out. Put that to the side. Oh. There's that. Now we need a USB-C connector, which I should have somewhere. I don't know where exactly where it went. So we'll get a USB-C con connector, and then we'll hook this up to the computer. Give me a second. All right, so we got your we get our USB C connector. We should be able to just uh, hook this up. Okay, so after you get everything hooked up to your computer and get this downloaded, um, you're gonna get the uh, GoPro to go into USB mode. And on Windows, I guess it looks a little bit different because it's showing this U USB right here and I'm showing something totally different. So, we'll go ahead and uh, show you what this is. So this is what it looks like on the front. And I don't have autofocus on, so. Anyway, so what's what it looks like. And on the back, can't see it. It says USB connected. From here, it says um, right click on the GoPro icon in the status bar and select show preview. Okay. Okay, so if you go down to your task bar, change it over here. Go down in your taskbar right here, and I'll have to change this in, in, into the main screen here. Um, but anyway, there's, a, there, there's an icon. It, this isn't my main screen. There's an icon right here that shows that, um, well, we'll just change it. Make two my main display. All right, so we go down in here. You see this little icon right here? It says GoPro Webcam. And we go to Show Preview. And it should pop up with the preview. It is not doing. Maybe we need to update this thing here. All right, so there's something else that we've got to do here. Do the manual update here. Manual update. All right, so I'm gonna get this. Okay, so this is how you do it manually. Go to this website right here, and I'll put this in the description. Um, and you can go through the instructions. It's pretty much, you're gonna download the update to the SD card that goes inside the GoPro, and then you're going to update it from there. You scroll all the way down here, it shows you, you know, you're going to go in there and you're going to update it. Uh, the easier way to do it is to do it through the app. Now I did that. Uh, I do want to let you know that you need at least a 50% charge on the GoPro before you can do it that way. I had to sit there and wait for about a half an hour to 45 minutes for it to uh, get up to a percent on the battery so I could download it. And we'll go to that next. Okay, so once you get that update installed, and I'll go ahead and throw up the uh, what what screens you're going to go through when you do it through the app. Okay, now that that part is done, let's go ahead and uh, hook this back up and see what this does. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Hook this thing back up. I took the side off or the back off of the, the GoPro so it's just easier to do. So you're gonna plug it in and then you're gonna turn it on. Just in case you don't know, it, it's the, the uh, one on the side is the power button. Go ahead and power it on and we'll wait for this thing to power up. Okay, so you're gonna get this on the screen. It's different from the one that I showed originally. Uh, it's like the one on, on the screen right here. Like that. So now that that's on, you're going to go down to the app, and we're going to go down here. Oh, I have to find the app again, apparently. Find that app. Open it. 
And then you're going to go down here and you're going to click on this. And you're going to go show preview. Let's see if we can get a preview this time. You have to actually, I, I guess, I guess you have to go in and actually start something up. So we're going to go into, we're going to go into OBS here. So I'm going to slide that onto the screen right now. Oh, we're going to, we're going to add one here. Sorry about that. That's on the screen. We're going to go in and add a um, video capture device. Let's see if we can't find it here. New capture device. Okay. Oh, look, GoPro webcam is on there. What? There we go. Okay, so you have to do this a couple of times apparently. But anyway, we're gonna go we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Show preview. We're gonna we're gonna turn on my uh anyway, I'll show you. My stuff right there. So it's working. Now let's uh Turn it all the way up here. Let's just make the whole thing video capture device. So there we go. All of the stuff. So it's a webcam right now. Pretty good. Yeah. So in OBS, you just go in there and it automatically finds it. It may take you a couple of times for it to uh, get it on there. And I'm going to. Put it in the media mod. We'll, we'll, we'll put it right here real quick. Get this set up here. Sorry about the movement. Set it up right there. There is a little bit of a delay. I don't know why that delay's in there. Um, weird. So you may have to adjust for the delay and uh, and some color corrections. This is much better. This is so much better. We'll go ahead and back to this one. It's uh it's it's so much better than using the media mod for this, which is actually which I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm probably gonna put it on there just to see what it does. I don't know if it'll if it'll um if the if the webcam stuff will work if it's in the media mod so we're going to go ahead and check that right now okay so no it does not with the media mod in there it does not work it does not work as a webcam from what i'm seeing it does not we'll go ahead and take it out and again and we're going to we're just going to check and see yeah with the media mod in there it does not work as it does not work as a webcam you have to wait uh if you see that screen right there you have to wait until where it says webcam. It will say on the front that you're you're viewing it as a webcam. Remember, this is still in beta. So you may have to go in and go out a couple of times to get it to work. And we're gonna we're gonna open it back up here real quick. Go preview. Okay. So we're gonna I'll I'll show you I'll show you this real quick. I need my autofocus turned on on my camera. But anyway, right there, it's right there. It says webcam. Let's see if we can get it to focus in. There we go. So see here it says webcam. So it works as it works as a webcam, and it does a does a pretty good job. Uh, other than the delay, if you're going to be using it for if you're going to be using it for OBS or something like that, I would say um, you might want to add a filter to it or something like that because that is completely washed out. So sorry about the back and forth on the cameras and stuff like that. Uh, getting this thing to work right was uh, was a pain. So the media mod that you have right here and the uh, I'm going to use the tripod. I'm probably going to start using that one instead of the the Logitech one that I have up there, depending on if it doesn't get hot or whatnot. But yeah, there's the updated video. If you guys um, liked or enjoyed the video, uh, uh, it, or or, or want to see more videos like this, leave that in the comment section. And if you guys like the videos and my other videos and everything like that, go ahead and. Um, Hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on and I'll see you guys next time.